Hey you guys, it's me again. I got chopped off. I didn't realize, I guess my phone rang and it chopped me off. So um, my first scope today gave you a quick little tour of the gym um, and it was titled, <laughs> good morning Betty Boo. Uh, it was titled Shoulder Shaper, but we never actually got to the workout because I got chopped off. So here it is again. So um, I won't take you on a tour of the gym if you want to see it. Thanks for joining. Hey, um, uh, if you want to see it, go ahead and check the scope I just did. Um, it's kind of a lot of fun stuff and there's pink in my gym because it's okay to have pink in your gym. So today what we're gonna do is a quick uh, shoulder shaper. Um, thanks for joining again. I see some of you on here that were on the last one. I'm sorry, I didn't even realize that got cut off. Um, my name is Missy. I'm a personal trainer. I'm certified medical exercise specialist. Um, I'm a behavior change specialist and uh, a massage therapist and a mom and a bunch of other stuff. So uh, thanks for joining me. My, my goal with these scopes is to give people some quick and simple health, nutrition and fitness tips um, so that they'll just spatter them into their day. And so I really like to help people that are either afraid to go to the gym, don't have time to go to the gym. A lot of people on Periscope are entrepreneurs. They sit at their desk all day. Um, and it's I've, I've found even for myself since doing online business, it's hard for me to get out and do the walking that I normally do. Um, so I've designed these workouts to be real simple and user friendly. So today's workout is a shoulder shaper. You can use no weights at all. Uh, I'm only actually using four pounds today, which is a light little weight for me, but uh, this is going to give you a good burn. So um, <clears throat> you can use uh, light weights. You could use even um, soup cans. Uh, those probably weigh maybe a pound each. You could use uh, gallon jugs filled with water. A whole gallon jug filled with water weighs about eight pounds. So for this workout, you might, eight's probably a lot for this workout. Um, but this workout, you might fill it halfway and do the exercises <clears throat> with your water jug. So um, I'm gonna run you through two rounds of this. What I would recommend is try three or four rounds. I'm gonna give you a 30 second rest between each round. In just a second here, I'm gonna hold up uh, a dry erase board with the picture of the workout so that you can take a snapshot of it and you can try it on your own. Um, or you can watch the replay and just jot down a quick little note. Uh, what I love to do is either keep a, you know those little composition books you can get at the dollar store for a dollar. I like to get those and write my workouts in them. And then I can flip back and go see, oh yeah, I really liked that workout. It's been a few weeks since I did it. I'm gonna try it again. Or my other <clears throat> mode of choice is four by six cards. Love my four by six cards. I have uh, shoe boxes full of four by six cards of workouts. Um, so when I find a good one, I like to write it down and take a little note on what it was that I liked about that. So there's a little tip for you. Okay, so here comes the workout. It's the shoulder shaper. I'm gonna see if I can fit it all into the screen. We're gonna do 30 seconds of each, and I'm gonna chop off the title here so you can get the rest. So try to take a screenshot of this. I'm gonna peek around and see if I got it all. There we go. All right, so we got front punches, overhead punches, rear deltoid elbow punches, lateral raises, goal posts, and then the 30 second rest, and then we'll repeat it for three to four rounds. So. That didn't really make it on the screen. I need to write smaller. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm gonna set my timer for 30 second intervals. Um, if you don't have an interval timer, I highly recommend getting one. You can get uh, download them on your app phone, apps on your phone. One that I love is called Gym Boss. It's G-Y-M-B-O-S-S. -S. Uh, the Gym Boss lets you put your music into the timer, you can create your own intervals. So however long or short you want to do. Um, I use it for stretching as well. I'll set it for like two minutes and hold a stretch for a nice long time. Um, and if you don't have that, if you don't have a smartphone, then you can get these on your computer as well. Just Google um, online interval timers and you'll find something. The benefit of having an interval timer is that, hi, thanks for joining, uh, is that you don't have to uh, keep your eye on the clock all the time. When you're doing things face down, say mountain climbers, uh, you have to keep looking up and it's kind of a pain. You don't get to focus on that exercise. When I started, when I was, my kids were small and I was working at a home a lot, I uh, started interval using an interval timer and it really upped my game. I was able to really get much more focused on the exercise. So without any further ado, I'm gonna grab my little weights. So like I said, today, uh, for those of you that just joined, I have a little four pounders today. And I'll tell you, this is gonna create a burn. I'm gonna do two sets of this with you. If you have any questions, type them in, and I'll try to keep my eyes on it. Um, if you can't do some of these exercises, type that in there. Let me know which one it is, and I can try to give you um, an alternative. Um, oh, before we get started, I gotta tell you, part of my reason for doing this is to help 
people just get moving, okay? Because I'm making these workouts really short and very doable. The other thing is I load these onto my website, which is www.secondwindfitness.net. That's with a two N D, windfitness.net. Um, if you go to the forums section, you can find these workouts all posted there. Um, and uh, eventually that's gonna be turned into a membership site. So there will be a monthly fee, but what you'll get in that is um, recipes, motivation, webinars, workouts, challenges, all the challenges I do with my in-person clients. We, I have them on the challenge almost every month. Thanks for joining, you're just in time for the workout. Um, so check that out now, if that's something you might be interested in. Thanks for hearts. Uh, if that's something you might be interested in, check that out because it's gonna be just open for everybody to look at for the next couple of months, probably December, maybe January is when I'll turn that into a membership site. So I'd love you just to grab what you want there and um, take advantage of it while it's open, okay? And I'd love any feedback you want uh, for me on what else I should add there. All right, let's go. Shoulder shaper. Starting with 30 seconds. I've got my small dumbbells. We're gonna start with front punches. So on these front punches, I want your shoulders down and back. Slide them into your back pocket and punch straight ahead. So I want you pushing and pulling, pushing and pulling. I'm going a little bit slower than I normally would. I might go about this tempo. But what we want to do is we want to make sure we're not doing lots of swaying in the lower body. I want you to keep it nice and strong. So push and pull, push and pull. Keep that arm parallel to the floor and drive the elbow back. All right, we're taking it right into the overhead punches. I'm going to kneel down a little bit. Overhead punches. I'm pushing up, pulling down, pushing up, pulling down. So work in more than one direction. Thanks for joining. Um, again, <laughs> punch and pull, punch and pull. So if you missed the first part of this, I was saying you can use light weights, you can use cans of soup, you can use um, gallon jugs filled with water. Uh, filled with water, they weigh eight pounds, so you might just fill it halfway full. Oh, and plus with that, okay, this is the rear deltoid. Pull, you're gonna bend at your hips, arms go forward, and I step back a little bit. And I'm driving my elbows back like I'm elbow punching someone, just like that. You can even take it up here if you want. It's actually a pretty good workout that way. Okay, so I want the tempo pretty quick because I want to get your heart rate up there. Squeeze those shoulder blades back together. Try not to round yourself right here. Squeeze them back. Keep your chest down a little bit. Drive it back. Drive it back. Very good. Ah, I lost my, my notes here. Okay, lateral raise right here. Press and pull. Press and pull. So with the lateral raise, the arm is 90 degrees, press and pull. Oh, it burns already and this is only one round. Although I did two rounds because my first attempt got chopped off. So push and pull, only 10 seconds to go. If you're doing this with me, hang in there. Don't death grip your weights. You can even, if you don't have weights right now and you just want to go through the motions, just go through the motions just with your arms. All right, here we are. Last one before our rest. This is the goal post. We're gonna squeeze those shoulder blades back nice and tight and rotate using the deeper, smaller muscles of the shoulder joint. Some of you, if you have shoulder issues, you may not even wanna add weights to this exercise. Keep those elbows in line with the shoulders. Squeeze back, squeeze back. Good. Few more seconds to go, just four seconds to go. I'm already burning, seriously. Okay, you get a 30 second rest, let's see. In that 30 seconds, I'm gonna tell you, I'd love you to share this with your friends. We're gonna go one more round, so hang in there with me. We're gonna share this with your friends. You can tap the little guy on the lower right-hand corner of your screen. Um, like I said, these workouts are gonna be short and um, they're gonna be modifiable. So I'm trying to add modifications for people that either can't jump or don't have weights or don't have any equipment at home. Um, but my goal is just to get you moving. I also will be, here we go, front punches right here. I'm gonna take it up, take it up a little bit higher. Here we go, nice strong punches. Now that you know the form, I'm just gonna let you get right into it. Okay, um, my scopes will be Mondays, will be Motivation Mondays. Um, we'll go into things to keep you motivated, how to create habits, how the brain works when it comes to staying motivated and getting motivated, and different tips and tricks to help you stay on track. Uh, um, Wednesdays are workout Wednesdays, usually early in the morning. Up, overhead punches, right here, overhead. Thursdays are gonna be therapy Thursdays. I haven't committed to Tuesdays yet. I'm thinking tipsy Tuesdays, I'm thinking organizing tips to help you stay organized so that you have more time to eat clean and exercise. Thursday is therapy Thursday, 
And that'll be, we're gonna take a body part, and we're gonna kind of break it down. And these are body parts where I see more injuries. So last week we did some postural, are you burning that? Let me know if you're burning here. Oh, I'm burning, okay. Oh, we gotta get those rear deltoids here. Rear deltoids, elbow punches. Keep tall, this is really easy to wanna to bend forward on these. Keep tall, punch, 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 punch. Or you can bend at your hips and punch backwards. Sorry, I got my cameras messed up. So, let's see, what did I say? Thursdays, therapy Thursdays. This week we're gonna talk about plantar fasciitis, which is a tightening of the bottom of the foot. A lot of people deal with that. So I'm gonna show you some exercises that you can do to, what was next, lateral raise. Two to go, then we get a 30 second rest. So I'm gonna show you some exercises to help cure and prevent plantar fasciitis. Uh, and Friday's Foodie Friday. So we talked about, I think my Foodie Friday from yesterday is still up. Yesterday we talked about protein, carbs, and fat and what they do in your body and three ways to turn your body. Hi there, thanks for joining. We're almost, oh, hi Dr. Stafford. So you know who's in the house? is Dr. Stafford who fixed my leg veins. So if you're anywhere near Coeur d'Alene, look the guy up, great guy. He also does, oh, it's burning already. <laughs> He does some functional medicine, just getting started in that. Good guy. Check him out. Do I get a heart for that? Dr. Stafford, you gotta give me at least a heart for the plug, so tap your screen. Tap away and give me some hearts. I'm dying here. As soon as we're done here, I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour because my first scope cut off. We're almost there. That is it. So, 30 seconds to rest. All right, so I'm gonna hold the workout up one more time. I'm totally burning. <laughs> <laughs> with four tiny pounds. I'm gonna hold the workout up one more time so that you can take a screenshot of the workout. Oh, we got almost the whole thing in there. All right, take a little screenshot and then you can try this on your own. Um, last week's workout was a high intensity interval workout. I gave three modifications for that. If you wanna check that out, you can find my page, my channel on YouTube. Um, also, I mentioned my website. You gotta tap the screen, go like this, go. There we go, tap away. Tap, 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 tap. You'll know because you'll see the hearts. Tap it harder. There you go. <laughs> nice. Now I want to see like 700 hearts from you. So keep, there we go. Tapping the hearts. Keep tapping. I think that's my hubby. Who's the green hearts? Can't make a quick comment so I can see who the green hearts are. So, ooh, I like them. Look at those. All right, keep them coming. We need some more hearts here because I just had to do that whole workout twice. So, um, so let's say I was off track. Yeah, I want you to check out... Um, Hey Ralph, thanks for joining back again, I appreciate it. Are you gonna do the workout? I wanna know, type in there if any of you guys are gonna do that workout. So what I was gonna tell you is that last Friday we did a um, high intensity interval workout. It was short and fast and furious. I gave you three modifications, awesome, good job. Uh, let me know how much weight you're gonna use on that, Ralph. Uh, and if you wanna find that, you can either go to my website at www.secondwindfitness.net, that's with a two ND, you can see it in my bio. Um, and go to the forums page. Under the forums, you'll see where it says workouts and all these scopes are going to that page. Or you can find me on YouTube and all the, um, okay, Dr. Staff, you're kind of slacking on the hearts there. <laughs> oh, leg day? Awesome. Gotta love you to be dragging your little body across the street. Um, good job on leg day though. I'm about to start, the rest of my workout is push-ups, pull-ups, and a little bit of legs. I did leg day a couple days ago. So. Uh, yeah, so if you want to see the other workouts, they only stay live on Periscope for 24, work, 24 hours. Um, yesterday, I did a Foodie Friday. I was just telling you about proteins, carbs, fat, what happens in your body when you eat them, and three ways to turn your body from a sugar burner to a fat burner. So you can still check that out, and you can go to the website if you want to see some of the other workouts, because I'm putting all of these on the website. Earlier in the scope, I was saying that I'm turning my website into a membership site, but it's open for the public right now. So go ahead and check it out. Um, give me some comments there, and let me know what you think a person would like to see. All right, gonna let you have your Saturday back, and I'm gonna get on with the rest of my workout. Good luck with leg day. So, oh wait, I'm gonna take you on a quick tour of my gym because we never got to do that. So super quick, ready? Here we go. All right, so speaking of leg day, so here's my timer, love my timer. This thing is, saves my life. But this, this right here, we call this the beast. And this is a rotating set of stairs. Do you have the protein one on YouTube? Um, I have to go look and see, I will put, see that? Check that bad boy out, love that guy. Um, yeah, actually, Ralph, that was um, yesterday, and I think it is still live, but if not, I will put it on YouTube today. I cannot remember. I don't think I did yet, so I'll take care of that for you. 
Um, and actually what it talks about mainly is, is carbs, but we do go into what protein. If you want me to do a scope on protein, I am super happy to do that because I'm a huge fan of protein. So I will do that. Okay, there's punch and bag. There's the pink doors because you, it's a good thing to have pink workout equipment. All right, punch and bag, some stuff. Thanks. Thanks for coming. Where did you get? The, oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? I actually have an extra timer. I would sell you this timer. I got it at the customer service. This place was horrible, so I would never recommend it, but I can't even remember what they were called. It has some initials, MDRS maybe, but um, shoot me a message, and I'd be happy to bring it down to you. I think I paid like 250 bucks for that or something. It was... Um, I have one that's brand new still in a box that I'd sell it for way less than that. Um, I just, it's in my closet. I can't even remember why I have two because I had a bigger gym before, I think, and I just never got to opening it. So let me know if you want that because um, it's awesome. You can uh, read, I have a little, um, I have a little remote that I can time it. So if I'm starting something over there, I can time it from the other end. It works great for me with my clients because I have preset uh, workouts. It also has like a count up and a count down timer and it's kind of loud. So I'm going to turn it off right now. Uh, so yeah, let me know about that. Okay, so you guys, thanks for joining in. Sorry about the first one got chopped off. Enjoy your weekend. I'll see you on Motivation Monday, and we're going to talk about smiling on Motivation Monday and what that does for your brain, okay? So I'll see you then. Thanks so much. Have a good weekend. I hate turning this thing off. Let me just tell you. It's so weird. You have to like swipe down and double stop and all that, so there we go. All right, see you later.